Hello everyone and welcome back to the Twitch Plays Pokemon Daily Update. Today we'll be covering the entirety of Day 10. Now first off, I know I wasn't able to complete Day 9 yesterday, I missed the last two hours. What happened in those last two hours were they used democracy to get into the daycare, and then while in the daycare, anarchy takes back over, they leave the daycare and jump over the ledge. So apparently the daycare option has been nullified at this point. At the beginning of Day 10, everyone decides to go to Cerulean and start heading towards the power plant to get Zapdos. Now of course this means we'll have to use Cut on the tree to get past it and then face the dreaded ledge that once halted our progress so long ago when we were first trying to get into Rock Tunnel. After about four hours trying to cross the ledge, Anarchy falls to Democracy and Democracy gives its hand in trying to cross the ledge. However, for some reason they head away from the route and start going back towards Cerulean. This displeases many of the anarchists and they take control back from the democrats. Through miracle or what have you, the anarchists were able to make it past the ledge without falling. They get to the Pokemon Center near the entrance to Rock Cave, flirt with the PC a little bit, and then they begin their surfing journey towards the power plant. Eventually they enter the power plant and fight the ungodly army of electric Pokemon that halts their path towards Zapdos. During this run, they almost used a Master Ball several times, but eventually they make it through and face Zapdos. Miraculously, they are able to traverse the entirety of the item list and throw their Master Ball, catching Zapdos. He is giving the nickname of AA-J, or Anarchy Jesus. They promptly leave the power plant and die by wilds outside, which gives them straight access to the Pokemon Center. However, this journey is where hell begins in Twitch Plays Pokemon. Now, in order to get Anarchy Jesus, they need to go into the PC and withdraw him, but to withdraw him, they have to deposit a Pokemon first, and we know how much trouble this has caused everyone in prior attempts. So first try, they deposit Air, our Lapras, our Pidgeot, Bird Jesus, and withdraw Anarchy Jesus. They also proceed to deposit the Keeper and ATV. After that, they proceed to withdraw our Rhyhorn, a Nidoran male, and a Venonat. Then they do a terrible mistake, switch boxes, and deposit Anarchy Jesus into box 2. The only remaining original member of our party in our team right now is Ducks, along with three Safari Pokemon. However, this is short-lived as our Farfetch'd and another Safari Mon are deposited into Box 2. We come incredibly close to releasing Zapdos, but luckily we do not. This gives us a bit of anxiety, so we head out of the Pokemon Center and breathe. And then, we go right back at it. We deposit all of our items, withdraw Zapdos, and use a protein on him. Then we withdraw most of our items back and deposit Zapdos back into the box. Now this is really playing with our heads, so we continually leave and enter the Pokemon Center not knowing what to do or how to do it. This is when the bloody Sunday begins. Capital A, our Venonat, is the first one to be released. However, we do withdraw Ducks and Zapdos. Somehow after this, we leave the Poke Center and wander into Rock Tunnel where we catch a Geodude and another Zubat and waste all of our Great Balls. Now we're back to the PC, deposit, then re-withdraw our... Rhyhorn. Democracy takes over and we're able to switch to box one. Shortly thereafter, Anarchy takes control once again and we deposit ducks once more. We teach Zapdos takedown and store our Rhyhorn and all of our items. We withdraw a Nidoran and deposit Geodude, but then we release yet another Venonat. But we do withdraw another Nidoran male and the Helix Fossil. Then we lose two more members of our team as Execute and Paris are both released to the wild. Shortly thereafter, another Nidoran male and another Venonat are released. Then we proceed to deposit Zapdos and Nidoran and withdraw Lapras. After we withdraw Lapras, we withdraw all of our items. The first biggest hit of all today, though, was that we released Cabbage, our Gloom. Total as of now, three Venonats, a Gloom, a Paris, an Execute, and a Nidoran have been released. Somehow we're able to withdraw ATV and the Keeper, but we're still fumbling around so hard and we somehow release Ducks, our Farfetch'd, and a Geodude that we just caught. Democracy takes control, having seen Anarchy release roughly nine Pokemon at this point. Once Democracy takes control, we withdraw Nidorino, Rhyhorn, and Zapdos, as well as our Helix Fossil. We deposit Air, the Lapras, and Anarchy takes control once again, where we withdraw Zubat shortly thereafter. Our current party at this time is our Drowsy, our Venomoth, Rhyhorn, Zapdos, Nidorino, and Zubat. This is not enough for us, so Democrats take over and back to the PC we go. ATV is deposited and another Nidoran is released. Anarchy takes control and once again another Nidoran is taken to being released. A lot of meandering happens and Democrats are fighting back and taking control once again. However, this literally lasted like 3 seconds as the Anarchists are able to take over. 
right after it. Nidorino is deposited, and very unfortunately, Digrat is released to go play with the Farfetch'd and with Cabbage, as well as all the other Pokemon that have been in our party that were subjugated to being released. Rhyhorn was shortly thereafter deposited, our ghastly withdrawn, and democracy takes over. Having had enough, we deposit every single Pokemon in our party save for one. We then proceed to withdraw our Pidgeot finally. Our team after all the withdrawing and depositing is our Pidgeot, Ghastly, Zubat, Lapras, Venomoth, and Drowsy. It's not perfect and we don't have Anarchy Jesus, the Zapdos, but it's good enough. So we decide to cut our losses and go to Cinnabar Island. We go through Rock Tunnel, make it to Lavender, and proceed back towards Cerulean City. The last thing that was happening at the end of day 10 was we were trying to get into the daycare to safely retrieve AA-J Anarchy Jesus the Zapdos. Thank you for listening. If you like this, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can also feel free to comment, share, favorite, whatever you have to do or whatever you want to do to get more people knowing about Twitch Plays Pokemon. You may also subscribe if you like being updated daily about the immense occurrences that happen during Twitch Plays Pokemon. You can also subscribe in anticipation for later Pokemon videos that I will be putting out. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for listening, and I shall talk to all of you tomorrow.